how to survey land with GPS. As you can see, we have here a nice area. There is the castle. And we want to survey this area with GPS. And the first thing what we need, of course, is a GPS rod. We have it in a very nice bag. And then we can take it out. It was very fluent. And then we can connect it. That's the first thing what we need to lens away with GPS. Further, in this nice bag, we have a GNNS receiver. This is the Emmetreats RS2. It's a very well priced GNS receiver and it works very well with EBGOS Survey Wizard. I already turn it on by pushing the power button till the LED lights turn on. And then I can mount it on top of the GPS rod. Then we have a tablet holder with a tablet. In our case, it's the Epcos Armor. And we mount the tablet holder on the GPS rod, and then we have to adjust it a bit. And then we turn on the Epgloss armor. Ta da! Besides nope. this, the hardware, the Emily3s RS2, the Epgloss armor, GPS rod with tablet holder, we of course also need software. And the best land survey software to survey land with GPS is Epgloss Survey Wizard. And here now you can see how you install Epgloss Survey Wizard from the Google Play Store. When you want to install a land survey app for Android, we need to go to the Google Play Store. So we click on the icon and then we go to the search bar and we type in a land survey app. Then we click search and here we see lots of different apps, but we want a land survey app for Android that works, so we go to AppGloss Survey Wizard, because we know that works, and then we click Install, and then we have to wait a little bit, and then it's installing. So now we completed the GPS surveying kit, and we opened AppGloss Survey Wizard, we still need to do some things to start to land survey with GPS. The first thing is to set the coordinate reference system. For that you go to the menu and then you go to other settings. And the coordinate reference system is nothing than a 2D projection of the points on the earth. As you know, or maybe you don't know, the earth is not flat. It's a circle, it's a sphere. And we want to have it projected in a 2D map. But you and me, we are used to have a map being projected in 2D because then we can read it well. So to put the current reference system you can select the country and then you can select the ellipsoid and then you can select the actual current reference system. After having done that we can click OK. Now we set the right and correct current reference system. But we still need to do one more thing. We need to connect the AppGloss Survey Wizard, the Land Survey app for Android, with this GNS receiver, the Emnet Reads RS2. So what we do, we go to the Connect menu, and then we go to Connect. And here you can see the way to connect, and we have to choose Bluetooth. So we set up the Emnet Reads RS2 for Bluetooth. We have to select the correct uh, GNS receiver, and this time it's the Reads. And then there are three ways to get the corrections. One is the antenna, that is this option, and then of course you can also fill in the entry data in Epglo Survey Wizard, 
but in the Netherlands and also in Belgium you have the option to use server and then we only have to click connect and now we have to wait till there is a connection and now there is a connection and now we have RTK so now we can land survey with GPS okay so now how to land survey with GPS of course you have to get out of your car this is my Rolls Royce and then we can start to land survey with the GPS the first thing what my colleague Raymond is always telling you have to make a name of what you're surveying so we go to the layer manager and what we are surveying that we will add a layer and we will add edge and with this I will teach you everything you can select the layer and I will put it magenta because it's magenta it's a very nice color and then we click OK and we click OK again and now we can select the layer edge so now I say bye to my Rolls Royce bye bye and I go to the edge this time it's the edge of the field so the first thing I do I have to keep it straight of course and that is why there is like this water level this bubble has to be exactly in the circle and then we are fine so when that is the case then we can click on the dot and now you can see a dot on the screen and that is how you survey a dot with GPS with Abigail Survey Wizard but then we're not ready yet because an edge is usually a line right? right so then we go to another point in the meanwhile I zoom in and here there is another point of the edge but now we don't want the point we want a line so first we have to keep it straight again and then we push line and now as you can see on the screen we have a line and of course we can continue this is another point of the edge but now we don't want a point we don't want the line we want it to be connected so we need like a multi-line or you say a polyline so we have to keep it straight again and then we click on polyline and now we go into the last point because I'm lazy <laughs> and now we want it to be like a closed area so we have to keep it straight and then we click on surface and now we have a closed surface and after this I just go back to my car after driving back to the castle with my car I just want to say check this video next to me